Welcome back to the Golf Club 2. Today we are going to be live streaming again guys. This time it's going to be Aaron Links by Steve 2 Golf. This one is going to be part of our quest to find the hardest course on the Golf Club 2. Um, this one has been recommended by a few of you guys so hopefully we can uh, go give this a bash. I'm just waiting to see that I am live on YouTube guys not seeing a notification pop up at the minute I do apologize but anyway as we can see it is a par 72 fairways are firm greens are firm and the green speed is fast so it's certainly challenging setup there we are just going to progress to new round there we are there's a notification that we are live I do hope everyone is well guys so let's see we do have four T selections guys pause that we will be playing off the longest ones which are the black tees which are playing a whopping and I mean a whopping 7916 yards wow and as always guys uh, pin position number one so let's begin round really looking forward to getting into this one here I do hope the audio is okay guys I wasn't too happy with the audio when I streamed earlier it is a microphone I'm using a gaming microphone here it's not a headset I might have to revert back to my headset for live streams if I'm not going to be happy with the quality here. But this is taking a while to load in guys, so that is always a good sign. We don't do the camera flybys guys for the, the hardest course quest, we're just uh, playing the course as it is. But like I say, I have me I've had many a request to add this to the, the hardest course series. Oh wow, let's okay. Let's do this. So let's get into this guys. Wow, look at this. First hole is a par 5 playing 623 yards. 12 mile per hour wind. Wowzers. Okay, we're going to have to swing well here. Nice open and drive. The wind will really hold us up and take us around to the left. But we have found the fairway which is always good especially in a huge par 5 here can't believe the distance of this what a beautiful looking course this is though by the way guys can we nail a three wood down here I mean there's no way the length of these you're going to be guaranteed birdies don't get me wrong you're not really guaranteed birdies in any hole but I mean, it's a slim window here to really try and birdie this. It's another good swing, good strike. I think I'm probably going to be about 100 yards. Oh, well, wait a minute. What a huge bounce that was. We could be... This could be a 75-yard pitch shot, to be fair here, guys. No, 94. Down 8. Let me see, three, six. I'm going to take off three yards, so I'm going to. I'm actually going to play the lob wedge. And what I'm going to do is take a bit off of this here, guys. We are on a down slope. I'm hoping that wind's going to hold me up. We are on a severe slope. It's going to take us to the left as well as the wind. Track seem to be tracking well. Oh, I've overhit that spin. Why? Wow, how on earth has that went so long there, guys? So really under pressure now. It's probably going to be a flop shot. Need to get an up and down here, or I am going to be dropping shots. I am going to opt for the flop shot here, guys. It is basically playing 21 yards. We are on a bit of an upslope. And it's going to move the ball to the right here as well, as will the wind. Good execution. And this should spin back. Come on. Oh, not as much as that though. Holy cow. Wow. That ball has spun back about 15 feet. So struggling for the par now, guys. 10 foot putt for par. Greens are 187. Just going to try and play this with a good bit of pace. Get it to turn. It does. 
So guys, we just start off with a part. Course challenge completed, no hazard hold. Let's move on to hole number two. Okay, hole number two. It is a really nice looking course, this though. It is a shorter par four plane, 371 yards. Once again, we are into the wind here. Good swing. Nice skyscraper there off there in the distance. That's a good drive there guys, I'm pretty confident now that we are on about a pitch shot range here. Need to take advantage of this. So 72 yards, just going to loft that up a touch because I do feel if we are long... Oh no, wait a minute, that's sloping away from the flag. Wow, so I can't be long at all, that is sloping away from the flag. Oh, this should be good with a bounce, come on. Oh, I didn't get a bounce at all. Didn't get the bounce at all. So we're looking at a chip shot here, guys. This is going to be a delicate touch here around the green. It's going to be a really delicate touch, actually. Just turned a bit more than I anticipated it to there, guys. But we're going to have about a three to four foot putt for part. Four foot for par, not much in this, up one inch. Ah, and we're going to remain at level par. So a few of you guys, subscribers, have said you've just struggled to go level par around this course. So as you can see, it is a bit of a challenge. I mean, I'm swinging well at the moment as well. So um, what do we have here? It's quite a long par four, stroke index 16. Oh, there's the first controller disconnection the rain guys right let's rely on the wind to take us round a good bit here good drive again delight with my swing in today did have a few pulls left and a pushes right earlier but on the whole guys I am swinging well 304 yards so we've really done a bit of damage here in the distance here 168 up 8 feet into the wind. Do you know what? I'm actually happy with this club. I do feel it's going to take a touch aloft or add a touch aloft to it with these, oh, with these firm greens. The wind should help us out. Oh, that wind's took me around more than I anticipated here. I don't think I'm actually going to get up that ridge, no. So once again, it's going to be a chip shot, guys. An 11-yard chip shot up two, two feet. Just going to fully loft this up and see if we can atta actually attack this, this pin here, guys. Get in, get in. Yes, great chip shot there, guys, and it does get us to one under par. I have been chipping really well the last few rounds, so we do move to one under par. Not been hitting the greens or anywhere near the flags at all so far, in regulation anyway. So 441 yards, par 4, stroke index 8. It does look like this fairway is going to slope slightly to the left again, so... Need to get a good drive here, it's another good drive. Fully expect this to bounce to the left. Yeah, there we go. We have played that well. I, I can't believe this is a course I've, I, I've actually missed. I've never played this one before, guys. This is a first for me. But as always, guys, I really appreciate the recommendations on the courses. So 130 feet. Certainly don't want to be short of the flag here. I think with that... I think with that slope there, guys, that is going to carry me the re required distance here. Fully expect this to be quite close. Come on, bounce. Wow! How on earth did that ball only travel 121 yards? 
Wow, I can't get my head around that one at all there guys. So this has got potential for a drop shot, relying on my chip shot again. That one really threw me a bit here. Really, really weird. The wind was moving to the right, it wasn't holding me up too much. That sat down a lot quicker than anticipated. It's going to be a six foot putt for par, just to get the par safe here. We do manage to get the par safe, what a perfect putt there. And we're going to remain one under par guys, but this is a challenging course. So hole five is a par four plane, 515 yards, stroke index six. This time we've got slight wind advantage here. Good drive again. That should be another drive that's near the 300 yard region. 312, 13 yards. So we have done a, a bit of damage to the distance in this long par four. 203 yards left, but with that wind behind me, just gonna, wow, well, wait a minute. It's gonna touch it up a tiny bit here. This, this is a tough course, guys. Wow. Good strike, space bar straight. That wind's moved me a lot more than, than I allowed for. Again, I'm yeah, not understanding the wind here, guys, to be fair. It's, wow. Didn't expect that wind to move me as much as that again. But this, oh, I'm going to have to pat this, guys. That is an awful, this is an awful shot. This has a potential to go all wrong here. Basically just want to get this ball moving onto the green. Stop. Oh, wow. Bye bye ball. Wow. <laughs> Deary me guys, I just... I think I must have overtouched that, obviously, but that was an awful putt I was left there. I'm certainly going to be playing this course again, guys, and learning from mistakes. I love a challenging course like this. I really, really do. So this is for... This is for par now. It is breaking to the left. 38 feet up one foot. This is a challenging course, refreshingly challenging. Turn. Get in. Oh, boom, what a putt that is, guys. That's my best putt in a long, long time. And I do manage to salvage a par there. Why, what a putt that was. What a putt. We played that to pure perfection. Hole number six is a long par three, playing 237 yards, stroke index four. Wow. I don't think the... I'm going to have to go with a five wood here, guys. I just fully loft this up, but I know it's going to be too long. Just going to try a touch of fade here as well to combat the wind. Green is going to break to the right also. This one's looking dialed in. It's never going to sit down in that firm green. And my 10 hybrid, uh, my 10 hybrid, my 4 hybrid guys, which is my 210 club, would never have reached that. So I was always going to be up against it there. Always in between clubs. 15 footer. Probably going to have to chip this. This is going to be a bump and run. No idea if we're going to get this close, but certainly going to be a bump and run. Oh my goodness, guys. We almost put that in. What a fantastic chip shot. My chip shot has been really, really good of late. 
and we do get another par here guys but that I can see why people are saying this is such a challenging course and like I say I can't believe I've never stumbled across this course before so hole 7 is another monster par 5 playing 609 yards oh, another controller disconnection here guys so 5 mile per hour wind Good swing, good strike. I would imagine in higher wind conditions, guys, like in double figures, this, like constant double figures, I've had a few holes with double figures, but constant double figures, this course would be absolute brutal. So just looking to chase this, this three wood down here. Certainly want to avoid that bunker. Just looking to go on the right hand side of this bunker here. Played that well. Probably going to be an uphill approach shot. Sweet. 54 yards. Oh, wow. Just taking a touch off of this here, guys. Going to say it's playing 60 on an upslope. So we just took a touch off of this. The green is sloping to the right. Good execution. How on earth is that so long? Wow! Once again guys, the pitch shot really throws me. I mean, I feel it's so inconsistent at times. So we've got a 25 foot putt, basically. No, 20 foot putt, let's go for 22 foot putt, it is fancy uphill. Going to take extreme break to the right here though. This is a tough putt guys. Just want to get this close and give myself a, a par opportunity. Good putt there if it stops. Wow. These greens are lightning quick, guys. Lightning quick. I've probably left a six foot putt for par, five foot putt for par. Not much in this. We're just going to drill this home just like that. And it's another par five where we don't get a birdie. We're going to remain one under par thanks to a chip shot on the third. So, hole eight is another long par four stroke index two dog leg left by the looks of things. Back up to double figure wins now. Right, I'm going to have to play smart here. I just want to bounce this out of the rough onto the onto the fairway, guys. Otherwise, I'm not going to hold the fairway. Hopefully, this kicks on with that win behind me. We should bounce out here. Come on. Come on. Yeah, played that well. Played that well, guys. That's called using the train. <laughs> nice. Well, a bit of luck involved as well, obviously. Like so, 160. Yards so I'm going to uh, say it's playing 165 on the firm greens with a wind behind me. Downhill slope. Just going to loft this up a touch. Good strike again. This could be a beauty. This could be a beauty. Come on, sit down. Why, wow, just nothing is sitting down in these greens here, guys. How on earth is that working its way off the green? Take it, we must have caught a slope. So, it's another one I don't fancy chipping, but fortunately it is an uphill putt. We are going to putt this. From the fringe. 19 feet up 5 inches. Come on, start to turn. Start to turn. Did I hit it? Oh, I had a really good line there, guys. Just didn't give it enough welly. Probably going to be left with about a 2 foot putt for par. Right, nice Which we managed to drain. You could have had a there. So solid front nine here, guys. So far. Hole number 9 is a par 3. 
166 yards, stroke index 12, and why the wind is really fluctuating. Sometimes when the wind's fluctuating up and down to these extremes, guys, I, I don't believe it. I think it's a false reading. So, 171. I'm going to have to take off 7 yards here, guys. So, we're going to say it's playing 154. Just going to loft that up a touch. Hopefully get this biting with the 8 iron. Is that wind taking me round? It has. Wow, really bit. We are way short there, guys. Really short. Hey, AJ Spood, welcome to the stream, bud. It certainly is interesting, mate. Certainly is interesting, bud. So 27 feet, down one foot. This is another awful break, guys. It is breaking me majorly to the left, I'm going to say here. But I don't think I've got any hope of getting this ball to stop. I really don't. Just want to touch this. Come on, ball. Pick up pace. Wow. Wow, guys. All right, 13 Left that 13 feet short, so this is going to be the first drop shot of the round, I would imagine. I mean, I can't understand how that ball can stop when it's still on a slope 5 inches with this green speed. So this is an awful putt now, guys. It really, really is. I need that to turn. Oh, what a dream putt. What a dream putt. Hey, Sire, how's it going, buddy? Welcome to the stream, mate. Thanks for stopping by. This is a brutal course, by the way, guys. So, we're still one under through front nine. Very, very challenging course. Hole 10 is another long par 4. Playing 505 yards. 9 mile per hour wind. It's going to take us round to the right. Another fantastic swing, guys. Really swinging well. And this should be another huge drive. Hey, thanks, guys. I tell you what, you've, your pattern's got to be in top form in this course, guys. It really has to. I, delighted I was recommended this course, guys. It's such a refreshing course to play. Puts every shot that you've got in your locker to the challenge. So, 10 mile per hour wind to the right, 201 yards. I'm just going to... It's green slightly uphill. It's going to take a tiny bit off. Smallest of touches I took off there, guys. Really smallest of touches. Come on, wind. Looks like this is a beauty. I can't see this sitting down on the greens again. It was a good approach shot. Hey, Bridger English, welcome to the, the stream, bud, on the channel. Um, this course is called Erin Lynx. I have been informed that it is absolute brutal, guys. This is a, a series that we're doing here to try and find the hardest course on the golf club, too. And so far, this one is winning hands down. Um, oh, sorry, guys. There's another damn controller disconnection. I do apologize about that. So, let's see here. It is a downhill putt, guys. I'm not chipping that. I find it very, very hard to stop that. This is, once again, this is going to be so hard to stop. It really, really is. Get in. Oh, my putting is really, really on top form, guys. I can't believe how well I've putted today. So, we managed to get to two under. But it's so hard to greens in this course, guys, here. Maybe not for this series, but got a recommendation the other day. Volcanic Islands Tour Edition. But it is probably on the other side of the spectrum more so than my volcano course. I'll definitely check that out, sire. Hey, Salty Maniac. Thank you very much. Cheers, sire. Thanks for the recommendations, guys. I will certainly check these courses out. I do get a high volume of... Uh, 
the class guys so bear with me right once again I do feel this is going to be a hard fairway to hit here I do feel it's going to bounce to the right it's another good drive hey Tony's travels welcome to channel bud hope you're well if you guys are enjoy, here we go. Is it going to hold the fairway? It is. If you guys are enjoying the the live stream, guys, please do me a massive favor and hit the like button. And if you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. So one five four up twelve feet. So let's say this is the right club, guys. I'm just going to take a touch off of this. Just going to take a touch off of this. These these irons just do not stick on this green at all if I'm past it guys why look at the slope so we're on a slope that's going to take us to the right and the wind that's hopefully going to take us back to the left here challenging shot again I do hope the audio is coming through well here guys this could be half decent you know come on it should turn to the right here ball sat down really well but took a 7 on a par 3 towards the end. Right, Putting up a high crazy. number on a par 3 is always very interesting. Yeah, it is, guys. I've had, I've had a few um, high scores on certain par 3s just with, like, poor tee shots. So, coming through fine for me. Thanks, AJ Speed. Really appreciate the feedback, guys. This is another brutal pack, guys, because I tell you what, if I just knock this an inch past the hole, th this is just gone. This is just gone. I'm just going to touch this again. Oh, stop. See what I mean, guys? Wow, unbelievably brutal. That ball's away. That ball is away. I touched that. Okay, this is insane, man. But refreshingly insane. Once again, we're probably going to put this. I do feel I'm going to be allowed to absolutely have a right bash at this one, guys. Oh, how did that not drop? How on earth did that not drop? Okay, yeah, I thought it was in as well, Jack. I really did. Can't believe that didn't drop. So that's the first bogey of the round there, guys. But this course is really, really tough. Highly recommend it to anyone who um, wants to put their, their skills to the test. So hole 12, par 4, 460 yards, stroke index 1. So this is the hardest hole on the course. I wonder what the reason is. I, t I must. It must be an absolute brutal green, guys, because I'm not seeing much issues here. We're just going to fully loft up the driver here and hope and hope it bites on this downhill fairway and with the wind holding us up slight push to the right there but it should be perfectly fine should kick out here once again played the tee shot quite well I, I get the disconnect all the time now sire hey David welcome back to the stream bud I, I always get disconnections now, guys. I was on Reddit doing some research, and heaps of my controller is hardwired into the the PS4, um, and it's I get about six, seven disconnections per round. It never used to do that till the the previous update from Sony. They are aware of it and trying to fix it. So one seven five down five feet. So let's say I'm going to say it's playing one seven two on the firm greens. With that wind, right, I'm going to have to hit, just touch this up a bit. Certainly don't want to be too short, because look at that slope. Once again, we are on a severe slope here, guys. It's going to move our ball to the left. Wasn't happy how, with that, how that came back. Good strike. Oh, this could be good. Come on, bounce. Come on, get up there. It was decent. I think it's going to work its way back off the green. It 
you could be right about the the USB cable, mate. It, it could be an issue. Could also be that it's not a, a pro PS4 as well, guys. Like I say, there's heaps of people um, experiencing it. So, okay, guys, I think this one's chippable. Seven yards. I think we can go right at the flag here almost. Oh my goodness, I overcooked it. I overcooked it and I've got about a four foot putt for par I would say. Six foot putt for par. Just gonna play this with a bit of pace guys. Get the par saved. It does just drop in I think there. It could be an issue. I've not heard of anyone on the PS4 Pro experiencing it. So guys, let's see how we go on here. Hole 13 is another long par three. Stroke index nine. Uh, once there's no, I'm gonna have to come down to hybrid, and I just don't think I'm gonna have the club in my. I don't think I'm gonna have enough club here, guys. I'm so far in between clubs. I'm just gonna look to really bump this on. I'm hoping I can just land past that bunker there, guys, and kick on the green and work its way up the up the green. Ah, push that right. Push that right. Probably going to work its way off the green. Once again. Hey, Jake. Welcome to the channel, bud. Thanks for the great content. You're such a great player. Thanks very much, Jake. I really appreciate that, bud. I really appreciate everyone who's uh, hanging out with me. Like I say, guys, I don't get to live stream often. But when I do, it's always pleasurable to have you fantastic subscribers in here with me. So 39 foot putt, there's another disconnection guys, why, come on game, 39 foot putt, breaking to the left, uphill, just want to lag this up there as close as I can, should start to turn and should start to die at death. Wow, I've put that probably about six, seven feet past there, guys. Hey, see you, Salty. Thanks very much for stopping by, bud. Much appreciated. Have a good night at work. So this is a tricky putt for par here, guys. Five foot. One inch down. Breaking to the right. But we do manage to slam it home for the par save, guys. And we're still frustratingly one under par here. This is quite a frustrating course here, guys. It can get the better off you. I mean... This is this is why a doubt, guys, the toughest course I have played on this game by a, a country mile. So hole twelve, hole fourteen, sorry, is a long par five again, six hundred and twelve yards, stroke index fifteen. It always seems that the par fives, I'm always hitting into the wind, against the wind, so I'm not getting much help with the the wind here. Better key shot this time. Oh, that's a pleasure, mate. It's, I'm as well speaking it out on the microphone, bud, because I'm speaking it through my head as well. Hopefully it does help you guys. A lot of people have said they've improved their game um, listening in to me. Some people have also said they've gotten worse, so um, no idea. But that's not an option for us here, guys. We are on a slope. It's going to take us round to the right. Wow. Just going to loft this up here. Probably going to have to take my medicine here. Don't want to miss fairway. This time we've pulled that slightly to the left. Nothing major. Should land on the fairway. We've fully lofted that up so it should sit down. Probably going to have a gap wedge. Okay, so we have yeah, there's a gap wedge. So, 114 yards, three, six, let's add two yards guys because it's firm gains, 116 into the wind. Hopefully this is enough club here, see. I'm hoping this is the club guys. It's a good strike, space bar straight there. This should be all over it like a rash. That should bounce well. Oh, sat down a lot quicker. But we are going to have a 14 foot putt for birdie. Once again, it's downhill. Two inches down. Put 
Come on, turn, turn, that's him. Oh, oh, come on, where's the golf gods? Where is the golf gods? And how, that's went five feet past. Four feet to the hole, yeah. Wow, man. So once again, just patting for part. Oh, Lee. Why, I do apologise, guys. My dog just had a heart attack there with sneezing. So, guys, that's a drop shot. Three putts again. Three putts again. I'm back to level par. Wow, I, I, I think I deserve to be under par here the way I played. Just just some of these. These putts and greens are absolutely hellish. So, let's see if we can get back to under par here, guys. That was my aim. Once again, these bunkers are way, or in my way, should I say, so I'm probably going to have to drop down to the three wood here. I don't think we can reach these bunkers with the three wood guys in that wind. Wind's taking us around nicely. And, as expected guys, we've not managed to reach the bunkers. We would have done with the driver, I, I, I fully um, expect. So, 98 yards into the wind. I'm going to say this is 108 yards. Into the wind. Just going to take a touch off of that again, guys. And hopefully, we've got enough club here. Wait a minute. I think the, the gap wedge would be more a shot suit. Touch that up a tiny bit here, guys. Tiniest of bits we've touched that up. Green is sloping to the right as well. Come on, stay up. Stay up. It was a good shot. It's just these pin positions, guys. It's so hard to, to hit anything. Hey, Kieran, welcome to the stream, bud. Hope you're well, mate. Probably going to have to putt this here, guys. Not the best uh, angles to be putting this. It doesn't look like I've got the best uh, um, playing surfaces here. Best of lies. It's turning to the left. Then back to the right. So, let's have a go at this. 17 foot up 4 inches. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, it's another lip out. It's another lip out, guys. <laughs> the game is just not wanting us to uh, win here today. The golfing gods are against me today, guys. I think that's about our third or fourth lip out for birdie. So, we're going to the main at level par. But wow, this is a fantastic course, guys. Really take my hat off to the, the designer, Steve 2 Golf, for this one. 180 yards, wins behind me. Down three feet. I'm confident the seven iron's going to get there. I really am. I took a touch off it here, guys. I'm looking for a firm bounce on that slope. I'm confident this is a club. It's a good strike. This went the beauty. Oh. That wind carried me a lot more than I anticipated. I maybe didn't need to uh, take a touch off of it. But once again, we're on the fringe. We are on the fringe. The contours on these greens are, are insane, by the way. At least we don't have a downhill putt here. 21 foot, I'm going to say. Slightly uphill. It is turning to the right. Oh, and one does drop for us, guys. I have putted really, really well tonight. Really happy with my putting today, guys. And we get back to one under par. Hopefully, we can finish the round under par. Hole 17 is another long par four. 506 yards, stroke in deck seven. Tighter green to hit this time. Wind should take us to the left here. Good drive again. Hopefully we get some good distance here. Should bounce to the left. Or is it starting to make its way down the left hand side guys? But good drive there. 325 yards we've nailed that guys. 
So 188 but once again on a severe slope, the wind is behind us, just going to loft this 6 iron up a touch. lofting it up again guys because we are on a down slope. This is so tricky to read here. This could be nice. This could be really really nice. Come on sit down for me. Sit down. Decent approach shot there guys but once again we're just going to work our way. Everything seems to be on a down slope. Every pin seems to be on a down slope. So once again, I am going to opt to putt this, guys. I've been putting really, really well. Fortunately, it's an uphill putt. 25, 26 feet, we're going to say. 23 feet uphill. Turning to the left. Just want to get this close, to be fair. Don't think I gave it enough enough power guys, no I didn't, I've left that about 6, maybe 7 feet short, 5 feet short, so this is a, once again just a tricky putt to save par here, do you manage to get the par saved though guys, and we are making our way up the 18th now, which is a par 5, so let's see if we can actually birdie a par 5 here, it's another monster par 5, 645 yards. Yeah, these are firm greens, but firm greens, firm fairways, and I think they're fast. I'll show you the course details, but there we go for the guys who missed it. But those guys who missed it, you can watch the, the rerun um, once the video's processed. Firm, firm, and fast. I wonder what this will do to my handicap, guys. I fully anticipate my handicap will drop here. If I manage to shoot a one under. Oh, I've really pushed that to the right here, guys. I'm going to be in all kinds of trouble. All kinds of trouble here. Get in the bunker. Wow. Hey, Anthony, welcome back, mate. Welcome back, bud. Thanks very much for stopping by. So, guys... Too much chalk, too much talking there. I wasn't focused on that swing. And I don't know if this five iron is going to get over the lip here. 73. I'm going to have to take the gamble. The five iron is going to get over the lip. Oh, wow. I am making a complete hash of this, guys. Once I, I don't feel as if I'm pushing things as far right as that, guys. So just going to do well to get anywhere near par here. Awful lie. This is an awful lie here, guys. Can I take the risk of going in between? I don't think I can, guys. I've got to give myself the best opportunity possible. To be able to attack this green with my four shot. I I think it's the lie. I think the lie I'm I'm on is making me push the ball to the right. Can't understand that. So I'm gonna have a monster approach shot here. We could be dropping two or three shots here actually, guys, right? A good shot here. One three one three I three three six nine. I'm gonna say one five five. It's playing guys with the firmness of the greens. With this wind behind me, I'm just lofting this up and we're going to go try and go right at the pin here, guys. I have to. I have to go right at the pin. Now I swing perfectly straight. Now I swing perfectly straight. This could be ideal. Come on. Please be rewarded. That is a great shot, guys. It could give me an opportunity of a par save here. Hey, Joe, welcome, buddy. Thanks very much for stopping by. Don't worry about it, Joe. You'll be able to catch the, the rerun of this once it's processed. Really want to get this par save here, guys. Really think I deserve this par save. Come on. Let's see. Eight foot up two inches. Going to turn. Oh, how did it not drop? 
the golfing gods just weren't with me this round here, guys. I'm going to finish at level par. Wow. Well, I'm saying I'm going to finish at level par. Wow, guys. What an entertaining round that was. I mean, I played some sublime shots. Just the greens. Just the greens. We managed to finish even par. I think on another day there, guys, we had about three or four lip outs for birdies and pars. Um, I don't think I got rewarded for the golf I played there, to be fair. But what an enjoyable round, guys. That's a five star. Um, going for the, the rating for the, the difficulty setting, guys, that is that, that is a five. I don't think you're going to find a more tougher course on the game than that. I will certainly be revisiting that, guys. Without a doubt, that is the toughest course on the game that I have played. Why? I mean, it didn't even alter my handicap, I don't think. But, guys... Thanks to everyone who hung out in the live stream. I really, really appreciate that. If you could do me a huge favor and hit the like button. If you're watching this video, guys, later on on the rerun on YouTube uh, and you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, say something in the comment section, and I will see you all in the next one, guys. Take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.